Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Minnesota Twins game review. As you might have known, I was at the game last night. Let's see. Uh, peep that guy right there. That's the new Joe Maurer bobblehead. He's with his friend right there, so that's pretty cool. There's also a couple more new ones up there, so check that out. But uh, it, was a, it was a good game. We just couldn't win, you know, a couple of problems with our pitching. That's all it took. It seems as if every single night somebody different in our bullpen kind of fails the rest of them are great but it's just one guy who you know gives up a three-run home run or you know gives up a couple of hits and then they turn into runs it just happens um it really stinks i do think we definitely need another reliever or somebody like that but uh, a tough loss for us it was so hot yesterday too i don't know if that had anything to do with it but uh jake would really struggled early we came back, tied it, and then they uh, they got the win in the in the middle innings there. So we lost five to three. They had twelve hits. We had seven. They also made an error. It was a big error at the time, but uh, it ultimately didn't matter. So let's talk about it. It was a good game. Otherwise, though, I mean, not necessarily the most exciting because there was only one home run by the Twins. Uh, there was only one home run by the opponents, and there were one, two three four doubles so i mean not bad right but when you know you're a twins fan and you go to a game you you know especially for the bomba squad right you're thinking home runs doubles i mean the last time i went to a game when they were playing the white Sox, they had what no oh, shoot i don't remember how many doubles they had i don't think it was nine they had like five doubles and like four home runs maybe it was nine extra base hits it was crazy but th this one not so much uh so Let's take a look at it. Bassett, he is good. Let me tell you that. He looks disgusting on the mound. Um, I don't know if you can really tell on TV, but holy cow, he, he was good last night. Oda Rizzi was good too. Um, like I said, just struggled early, and then Harper kind of came in and blew it, but uh, it happens. He got the loss. Harper got the loss, I mean, and then Kendricks. Man, is he good too. I didn't know the A's had some really good guys like this. and You wouldn't really expect it, right? It's kind of like the Twins. Twins obviously have a couple of players that are like really really good right but like like Cruz or you know people that we brought in I should say Crone, Cruz, Gonzalez but uh, they also got guys you know that are Rosario, Buxton, Sano that are that have done well and that are just not you know the big names you know Arenado, Bellinger, Trout kind of guys so it's the same with the A's and Bassett he can throw a 93 mile an hour fastball and then throw a 71 mile an hour breaking ball. Oh my gosh. I was sitting up. I mean, maybe you saw it on either my Twitter or uh, on YouTube when I posted the like post. Um, I was sitting like way up in the in the top top deck. But you can see because I'm looking at it this way. So the batter is here and the pitcher is here. And that thing just loops in there. It's absolutely crazy. And he was doing really well. He gave up five hits in uh five innings so very good for him uh two earned runs of course the one or other run was not earned oda rizzi on the other hand again five innings six hits three earned runs three strikeouts two walks it wasn't a bad performance by him he did struggle early like i said gave up a lead off home run that really didn't do well um and then he gave up another run in the first inning it was two to nothing after that came back in the next two innings took the lead but uh in the fifth and sixth they got it back harper Pitched one inning, gave up three hits, two earned runs, one strikeout. Not their best performance right there. Duffy did good. Uh, one hit, one strikeout in one innings of work. Parker did okay. One strikeout, one innings of work with one hit. And then Littell came in as well. One strikeout, one hit, one inning of work. So, I mean, it wasn't bad. Like I said, obviously not the best way I think we could have, you know, started this. Uh, especially because Cleveland keeps winning. But what can you do? So, if you know a team wants to help us out so cleveland is 14 and 2 in their last 16 games if you want to guess you leave your comments down below who you think the two teams or the two times that a team beat them were uh, i'd love to know your guesses on the t the team that beat them twice um i'll give you a spoiler alert it's the twins uh so it looks like the twins are gonna have to do it all themselves i mean th understandably right that's what you you know you're you can't rely on other people or other teams to get the job done but goodness sakes 
freaking Cleveland doesn't lose, and nobody is helping us out. I get that the AL Central is bad, and that's all they're playing. They have played Detroit and Kansas City like 25 times, but uh, they are not helping us out at all, and it's really stupid. But what can you do? Um, we got to carry our own weight. It's a three-game race now. It is three games. That is not cool. Um, I'm still not worried. Until they pass us, before we play them again, I'm not worried. But just saying... We're the only team that has proven that we can beat Cleveland. That's not good. So let's go into hitting now. Um, I know this video is kind of all over the place. My bad. But uh, hitting, like I said, there's not much to talk about uh, other than, you know, Gonzalez had a big home run, put us up. Uh, it was a two-run home run, which is great. We've had so many solo shots. I think like 100. What have we had? Like 170 home runs or so now. Um, 175 maybe, close to that. Uh and like 105 of them have been solo shots, I believe is what the number was. I could be wrong on that. Um, if somebody could help me out, I thought I saw it a couple days ago on the on the TV. But uh, I think that's it's something like that. It's crazy how um, many home runs we've hit that are solo shots. And of course, that is a big problem. Last night, it was not necessarily the problem. Obviously, you know we had chance after chance. Uh, we couldn't get anything done, but. That's just one thing to look at, right? Is because we have hit so many solo shots. A solo shot wouldn't have mattered in this game when it was five to three, right? Because that would have put five to four in that case that we were losing. So obviously that's a really big issue. But Gonzalez, he hit a home run last night with one guy on base uh, that was really great. It was with two outs as well, so that was huge to put us out in front. Uh, Polanco also had a double, his twenty sixth double of the season. That was really good for him as well. Um, but that's about it. That's about it. Um, like I said, it was not a very exciting game bat wise. There was a couple good plays, uh, in the field, but let's talk about the plays that we scored. So we only scored in two innings. Let's go to the second inning. This is where we scored on the air. Gonzalez lines out. He's gotten robbed of so many hits this year on line outs. Can somebody find that number for me? Like goodness sakes, this guy has, I mean, I'm going to go through it later, but, uh, he lines out in the second. I think he lined out in the eighth or, yep, eighth inning. He lines out as well. Hits the home run in the third inning. He probably had one more at bat in the fifth. Uh, ground out. So there you go. I mean, what what is that? Three hard hit balls. He gets rewarded for one of them on the home run. That's just how this, that's how the Twins team works. And Gonzalez has really done well, but his average and his hits don't show for it because he lines out to everybody. But a line out, a ground out from a rise. So no walks. He's been good with walks lately. That's really good. That's what we need him to do um, to get on base. Castro singles and Max Kepler right under the glove of the first baseman. I don't know who it was. It was uh, Matt Olson. There you go. So Matt Olson literally just missed the ball. The ball went into right field. Here comes Miguel Sano from third base. He scores. Castro got to third base on it, and uh, then Polanco flew out. But uh Hey, we scored a, one, a run right there, right? And then, as I mentioned, in the third inning, uh, Gonzalez hit a home run. Nelson Cruz was hit by a pitch. Rosario lined out. That was really unfortunate. Um, then Crone struck out and Gonzalez home run uh, before Rise was hit, but then Snow struck out or grounded out. Sorry. But uh, the home run was huge. Um, it was just over the wall. It, it actually got to the second deck, but it was just over the wall because, you know, the wall goes, like, straight down. Very close. Um, I mean, it wasn't that close, but it was, like, you know, it was – 397 out to a 365 park so i mean you know what i'm saying but it, it was a nice shot it did the job we scored then we gave up a couple of runs in the fifth and sixth so let's go through the box score really quickly for the rest of the team kepler 0 for 5 tough night um with the air but he did he, it's not an rbi but you know he did be he was productive he put the ball in play fortunately he didn't get rewarded for it but you know it gave the Twins a chance right at that time. His average is now 258, though. That's going down. It needs to go back up. Polanco, one for five. Cruz, one for three with a hit by pitch and a walk. He also scored a run, um, as I mentioned on the home run. Then uh, Rosario, one for four. Crone, 0 for four. Uh, Gonzalez, the best night on the team, I guess. Castro did good, too. Uh, but uh, Gonzalez went one for four with two RBIs and a run because of his home run. Sano, or Arise, went one for three. He has reached base 13 times in a row, or is it 12? I saw, I thought he came into the game last night with 12, um, and then last night would have made it 13, but I saw somewhere that it made it um, his 12th. Then, uh, 
Then Sano went 0 for 2, but had two walks. Did strike out once, but had two walks and a run. Uh, Castro went 2 for 2, and Garver went 0 for 2. He came in to pinch hit, and he did not do anything. So that is it. Uh, there was one more thing. Rosario, or not Rosario, Polanco is double. What was it? 50 straight games now with an extra base hit. That's really good, though. That is very impressive uh, with Polanco's double that happened, what, in the second or third inning or so? But uh, I don't remember when it happened, actually. But uh, the point is, that's very good. It's just we haven't been getting wins for it. You know, we have, we're four of our last five have been losses. Cleveland has literally won every game they've played. Um it really stinks, but you know we're not we're not worried yet. We're gonna make some trades. If we don't make some trades, then I'd be worried. But we gotta make some trades. Things will happen. We'll get better. Um, and uh, again, if we play Cleveland and we beat them, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter how good Cleveland is if they can't beat us. So, because we're still the top of the division, right? So, not worried yet. But uh, we gotta come back and take the series. I think from the A's. So definitely doable. Um. We'll, we'll just have to see how it goes. So, Barrios on the mound tonight. I think uh, Pineda is on the mound on uh, Sunday. So, should be good. Uh, should be good, I think. Or is it... Or, I don't know. I really don't know. It doesn't matter. The point is, we're still in first place. We're going to take the series from the A's. And uh, that's, all, that's all that matters. Okay, so that's all I got for you today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. Check out the new bobbleheads up there. There's a couple that you had to find. But uh, let me know uh, what you guys think of the game. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. Check out yesterday's video if you didn't already above my head. That's all I got. We'll see you next time. Peace out.